Today let's write a C program to express user entered number as sum of two prime numbers. Well user entered number need not be a prime number, it can be any positive integer. This is one of my favorite example to teach because it involves multiple functions and other small things to learn. So pay attention to this uh, example and please watch this video till the end also follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video without fail. So if the user enters number 14 we need to output 3 plus 11 and 7 plus 7. All these numbers 3, 11 and 7 are prime numbers. If the user enters 24 as the number, we need to output 5 plus 19, 7 plus 17, 11 plus 13 as output. So if you observe all these numbers, 5, 19, 7, 17, 11 and 13 are prime numbers. Okay. So we have a, a formula here which you need to remember that is count plus num minus count is equal to number. Plus count and minus count get cancelled so remaining thing is num. We already know the num which is entered by the user. Count value is the prime numbers from 2 to n. So we know the prime numbers from 2 to n. Uh, we will be generating it in one of our functions. So first the code, we initialize the loop counter that is count to 2 and iterate the loop, uh, iterate the for loop until count is less than or equal to num minus count. Okay, and we increment the count value not by 1 but we increment but we change the value of count from 2 to 3 3 to 5 and then to 7 11 etc these are prime numbers so count value changes from one prime number to the next prime number so this is the logic you need to keep in mind to write our c program so what let me even show you the uh, code snippet of this for loop so count is initialized to 2 which is first prime number and count is incremented to next prime number that is 2 and then 3 and then 5 for each iteration of this for loop uh, the count value changes from 2 to 3 to 5 that is the next prime number this for loop iterates until count is less than or equal to num minus count shortly you will see why num minus count okay just remember this formula and this for loop okay count is already prime number you know that now inside for loop we need to check the second part that is num minus count is also prime number if both of these are prime numbers then print out that pair as the result if not uh, go to the next prime number that is for loop iterates and count will be storing next prime number so 14 minus 2 is 12 so 12 plus 2 is 14 but 12 is not prime number here so this number we can't consider so count increments and count value is 3 now 14 minus 3 is 11 so 3 plus 11 is equal to 14 3 and 11 both are prime numbers so we take this as our result next count value increments to 5 14 minus 5 is 9 so 5 plus 9 9 is not prime number here so this pair is gone 7 minus 14 is 7 so 7 plus 7 is 14 7 is prime number so this is the result so count is 11 now 14 minus 11 is 3 11 plus 3 we already have 3 plus 11 so it doesn't make any sense so stop here so for loop should stop when count is until count is uh, less than or equal to num minus count so this is the logic keep this in mind and write our c program i'll take couple of variables int num count and flag i'll ask the user to enter a positive number and store it inside the address of integer variable num now let me directly write the for loop we already know the logic loop counter count should start from first value of in this prime number series which is 2 now the condition count uh, this for loop should execute until count is less than or equal to I'll leave this blank so for each iteration of this for loop count value should increment 2 so let's see that for loop should start from 2 and it should execute until count is less than or equal to num minus count and count value should increment from 2 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 in this series it should get incremented okay so for loop count is 2 initialized to 2 and for each iteration uh, this count value should get to the next value of 
uh, value in this prime number series and it should execute until num minus count times so i'll call the function next prime and pass count to it because the previous value is 2 which is present in count we need to get the next prime number next to 2 okay now the condition until count is less than or equal to num minus count so that's it so inside here we already know that count is prime we need to check inside this for loop if num minus count is also prime so i'll write another function is prime and pass this value we will check if num minus count is also prime number if that's true our condition is met so i'll set one to flag that means we found a result and then i'll output the result that is percentage d plus percentage d is equal to percentage d so in this format the first percentage d is present inside count so the next percentage c percentage d is present inside num minus count and the last percentage d inside num okay so this is it now outside this for loop i'll check if we have got any result or not by checking the value of flag so if flag is zero even after the execution complete execution and that is iteration of this for loop if the flag value is zero then percentage d that is the number entered by the user cannot be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers n u m b r s okay this makes sense if we display a nice message instead of leaving it blank so that's it for main function now we need to write next prime and is prime uh, methods definition so let me start with next prime i'll simply love this logic of next prime so count is integer type so i'll take int num so the count value will be copied to local variable of next prime which is num so it also returns a integer type data so int next prime so i'll write do while very simple logic first thing is whatever is passed inside do it will get executed at least one time and then the logic that is the condition present inside while will be checked so next prime we need to get the next prime number present inside this count so uh, which is copied to num so first i'll increment the value of num and then i'll check if the value of num is actually prime or not we already uh, we will be defining is prime method so i'll simply pass this number to is prime so if we get the next prime then i'll exit this while loop so if not i'll continue iterating this do whatever code is present inside this do that is incrementing the value of num so once num is prime we exit this do while loop and return that number which is the next prime number so that's it for next prime okay now we need to write code for is prime we have already written this code and explained it uh, in a separate blog post and a video link to which is present on your computer screen right now and also in the description section of this youtube video so it will take a argument of type integer and it will also return a integer type value we can even return boolean in this case i'll just return integer zero means false any positive number in this case one means true so loop counter variable count and then i'll take another variable prime and i'll assume the number passed is a prime number so prime is equal to one so count should start from two until count is less than num and let me increment the count value by one for each iteration of this for loop count is equal to two because every number will be divided divided by one and count is less than or equal to num minus one or count is less than num because every number will be divided divisible by itself so we need to leave including the that number itself and then one so num modulo division count if it's zero then that number is divisible by some other number so it's not a prime number so i'll assign zero to prime and break out of this for loop 
So outside for loop, I'll just return the value of prime, which will have one or zero. Zero means it's not a prime number. One means it's a prime number. Okay. So that's it for prime. We can even optimize this code. So I can take the logic is present uh, in the blog post link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. So I'll take another integer variable inum. inum is equal to num divided by two. So this loop, the for loop iterates until num, min, num divided by two times. So it will give right results or else you can also write square root of num. So we will further reduce the number of iteration of this for loop and still it gives the right results. So since we are using SQRT, I'll be including math.h library file. So that's it. But we are calling ease prime method, but our program doesn't know ease prime method yet because we are calling before we are defining it. So it will throw some warning. Implicit declaration of function is prime. So we need to define it before calling it. So if we just, so this is the method which is calling is prime. Okay. So we need to have that definition before that method. So simply cut this and paste it before calling it. Okay. This would fix the problem. Okay. Let me compile this and show it to you. Zero error, zero warning, everything is zero. So let me run the program for you. This is our code. Okay, let me run it. I'll give 14. So three plus 11 and seven plus seven. Great. Let me run this once again and I'll give 24. Five plus 19, seven plus 17, 11 plus 13. Great. So let me run this once again and I'll give 34 now. And you are seeing the result. I'll give 35, which we can't express in terms of sum of two prime numbers and it's showing the results. So let me eliminate such unnecessary warnings. So I'll write prototype here. So let me display the, uh, let me give the information to our program that we have two functions by name next prime and is prime. We can remove these things. So these two things are called prototypes of these functions. Now cut this out and paste it anywhere in any sequence, in any order you want. But our program still knows that inside this program, we have two methods, which is next prime and is prime. So prototypes can also be in any order. It's just to tell the program that we have these functions in our program. We can call it anywhere and it still works. So I'll give 14 once again, and it's working. I'll give 24, the same uh, inputs as we gave before. Now I think I gave 34 previously and 35 which can't be expressed in terms of two uh, prime numbers. Okay, that's it for now. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. We have explained this all these logic in detail on our blog post. So please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. And please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. And please do not forget to share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.